sultry and vampire-like design is inspired by Tim Burton's film, Dark Shadows. I wanted to portray love, vengeance, and romance with this look by designing bold, rich colors, exotic catty eyes, and red luscious lips. This is my design for the NYX Cosmetics Face Awards Round 2. Support Lisa Her by voting for Pro MUA Network on NYXFaceAwards.com. To prep my face and for a smooth, flawless canvas, I used NYX Primer. After I apply the foundation, I set my face with loose powder with a puff. And you want to press it in, roll it in as you go to give your face a very mattified look. And now you're ready for the eyeshadow. I'm using NYX Eye Base. I'm gonna take that eye primer and wing it out slightly, extending it past your eye crease. Taking a fluffy brush and a brick matte eyeshadow, I'm gonna use that to warm up my eye crease. You can use windshield wiper motions to fill in your eye socket area. Concentrate the color in the eye crease and blend it out past beyond the crease. From the Crimson Amulet Collection inspired by the movie Dark Shadows, I'm going to take this beautiful shimmer blue color and apply that to my outer eye. Pressing it in so the colors stay on my lid. And winging it out. With the same color, I'm going to create a catty eye effect. Connect the corner where I left off from the extension and bring it into slightly above my crease line right here. I'm going to use this really sh pretty shimmery deep purple and place that color right into this area where it connects off from the blue. Using NYX Cream Shadow in Chestnut, I'm going to apply this into the inner corners of my eyes. And you can just basically dab a few pigments right here and use your fingers to blend it. Taking this medium shade violet and place that onto the chestnut that we just applied into the inner corners. Take NYX Cream Eyeshadow in Deep Blue and dab that with the applicator on the lower lash line. Using the 
this very beautiful forest green eyeshadow and using that to set the deep blue cream eyeshadow that I just placed underneath my eyes. And I'm going to add a very neutral blue on top of that. Taking this deep shimmery blue with my smudger brush again, I'm going to go enhance the outer catty eye. And then taking a fluffy brush and a brick matte color, I'm going to go buff that catty eye out by blending it in. You can take that color and extend it into the nose bridge to give your nose a slight contour. Taking NYX Roll-On Shimmer and Chestnut, I'm going to apply some on my ring finger and then press that onto my eyes. I'm going to put that right on the center of the eyelids. Using another roll-on shimmer in Onyx, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to place that shimmer on the outer corner into this V that we created. Using NYX spongy smudgeable brush. I'm going to grab some of that shimmer off from the roller like this and apply that on the lower lash line starting from the outer eye. Taking NYX another roll on shimmer in platinum this color will be placed in the inner corner of my eyes and extend it a little bit past the inner corner of the eyes, right here on the skin. Taking NYX's Pure White Slide On Eyeliner, I'm going to line my waterline, my lower waterline. Taking NYX Precision Eyeliner and a cream black eyeliner, I'm going to use this to outline my entire eye. Starting from the lower outer corner, I'm going to angle this upwards and do small, slight downward strokes right on the lash line. stopping it at this inner corner with a fine point. And where the corner of the eyes are to this line, I want to connect those two points. take some more cream eyeliner and just slightly extend my eyeliner to create a winged effect. We're 
we're going to complete that eye look by applying some false lashes. If necessary, you can go over the lash line with the cream eyeliner just to hide the lash band. Taking a freshly sharpened eye pencil, I'm going to first comb out any product underneath my eyebrows. And then focusing on the highest point of my eyebrows, I'm going to create my arch. You can use a shade that's slightly lighter than the eyebrows and blend it with a shade that's slightly darker than the eyebrows. Just stamp the powder right on top of the area where you drew in the arch. Taking NYX's beautiful fan brush, I'm going to load some beautiful highlighting powder and apply that right here on my cheekbones. Taking this beautiful matte bronzer in dark tan, and the angled brush. I'm going to apply that into the hollows of my cheeks to contour my face. I'm going to grab this very beautiful matte red and I'm going to apply that where I contoured right here slightly brushing it in there and towards my cheekbone. And then with the same brush, I'm going to load some of this very shimmery, rosy color. And I'm going to concentrate that color right here on the apples of my cheeks. And blend those two colors with a blush brush. Taking Nick's beautiful, rich red color and bruised, I'm going to apply that on my lips. And this is how you achieve a sultry and vicious vampire-like makeup look inspired by Tim Burton's Dark Shadows.